All right, here we go. And so we go to 40, get it to stabilize. It does. Toga. Captain's throttles. I'm the captain today. Look at me. I'm the captain. Three, two, one, fight off. What's up, everybody? It's Monday. I'm Mover, C.W. Lemoyne, author of the Spectre series. If you like books, pick one up and help support the channel. Uh, today's episode, I want to do something different. Don't do a whole lot of airline pilot stuff on the channel. And um, pretty soon, I'm transitioning from the 737 to the 767 uh, to 7576 uh, type rating. So I actually may have already flown my last flight in the 737, but uh, I picked up X-Plane 11, thought we'd do a quick uh, Dallas to New Orleans flight. Yeah, uh, using the 737 kind of as a finny flight and um, uh, just to get some disclaimers out of the way uh, number one I don't have a yoke or anything like that I'm using the uh, Thrustmaster uh, Warthog throttle and the Thrustmaster uh, Hotas with the uh, F-18 grip so I know people want all kinds of uh, simulation stuff like that but that's just a limitation I'm not going to go get a yoke set up just for this you know maybe one or two videos uh, second this doesn't represent any airline the airline that I work for or anything like that this is not instructional it's not meant to be a tutorial or anything like that I am going to try to be as realistic as I can but every airline operates differently and th there are limitations with in the sim so you may see me do things that you know you may have seen in other videos that's not how they do it but sometimes it's just the limitations of the game and sometimes it's just uh, maybe i screwed it up so uh, it's not meant to be any kind of realistic thing like that although i will try to adhere to real procedures as much as possible even got my little uh, handy dandy cheater checklist and the charts from uh, jep fd pro because it's much easier so this is kind of my first time using x-plane 11 uh, I've, I've gotten familiar enough to, to navigate around but uh, it, it's definitely going to be my first time so what we'll do we'll do a, a cold start uh, just as i would as the fo i'll act as uh, do fo and captain stuff we'll taxi out at dallas and then go to new orleans and land and they're uh, using realistic weather. So weather here in New Orleans is actually kind of crappy in Dallas, I think it's pretty nice. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And I may end up breaking this video down in one or two segments. So this could be part one. And if it's part one, stay tuned for part two, uh, just because ground ops by itself is gonna take a little bit of time. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And uh, here we go. All right, here we are in a cold and dark airplane. You can see we are in a 737 Mover Airlines. Uh, here at DFW at the Alpha Terminal and um, getting into the cold airplane, cold and dark. So the first thing, obviously, uh, we get the battery going. And battery on, get that there. Ground power is good. And then it's just a basically a, a flow. Before we turn everything on, I'm not gonna do it, but I would test uh, the lights for the cargo, I guess I am doing it, but I'm not really paying attention to it as much. I would test all the lights and then, um, so we could start the APU, but oh, nope, nope. I feel like I'm inverted here. Get the IRS's. There we go, in a nav. The dinging is not normal. Uh, and then test, now we're, now we're completely inverted. Get the clackers. I guess it doesn't have power on it enough, okay. Well, and now we're completely. Move on over to the FO side. And it's just a sweep. Uh, coming down, making sure the IFE's on so the flight attendants can do their thing. I'm gonna turn a fuel pump, oop, wrong one. I'm gonna turn a fuel pump on. Get the APU started, it's my leg, so they're gonna be both on the right. I like the logo light, you don't have to. Turn this on for the walk around here in a second. 
Oh boy. And I'm inverted again. Which, you know, it's a cramped cockpit, so maybe, you know, maybe that's true. I come down and check the hides at this point. So you go to system, make sure we're good, no lights, auto brakes, reset the fuel, and then if it's windy, I'll turn at least one of these on. Uh, we'll get the seatbelt light later. And that's it. I think we're going up to 32,000 feet. So I'll get this set up, but I'll look at that when we get to the flight plan stuff. And 50 feet there, because we're going to New Orleans. By now, this is good. They've disconnected the air, so we go packs on, especially in Dallas, it's always hot. So we get the packs running, get, let it cool off in the back. I don't know, does this work? I don't know. I decided not to do VR because, I mean, it, the frame rates would have been so low. Um, but anyway, we're taking off uh, runway 17 right, so we know that. Set that up now. And I'm doing a little bit out of order. Like I said, it's not really a tutorial. All right, so this is all right. We checked the database, it's expired, but I mean, I'm not gonna, it's a sim. So IRS position, this, I mean, this is, what I'm so impressed with is this is so realistic. You know, I mean, this is actually, if I'd have used this prior, it probably would have helped out prior to training. I mean, it's a pretty good representation of how the FMS works. Um, so you get that going, and here it would say uh, request, send request, but because we don't have a cars that I know of, maybe the sim folks have that, but uh, I went up to sim brief and actually created a route. So for mover airlines, mover airlines, DFW to MSY is a company route. Uh, we'll change this to mover six, nine. And we will activate, execute, and uh, at this point, A cars would load everything. The perfinit, all that stuff would, would all auto populate. It would go to the legs page, give you the wins and all that stuff. But I don't think the sim has a way to do it. It may, but I don't know how. So uh, we're gonna fly the, uh, let's see, Marsh 2 uh, to Zalia on 17 right, execute. And then the arrival is the AUDAD LSU transition and we are expecting a runway 11 via AUDAD. I'll clean that up here in a minute. So back to the Inuit ref. I guess we can save route. I don't know if that, I guess, I don't know what that does here, but okay. Uh, and at this point we'd go legs page, route data. It's not gonna give us that because the eight cars doesn't work I guess perfinit and I think let's see cost index will do 50 reserves um, go to the flight plan it's pretty cool the way this works uh, I guess start leg this whole thing so the mods I've got the Zebo 737 I've got this uh, uh, I'll list it all in the description because it'll take me forever to go through all this stuff so um, Avatab We've got charts, and I loaded, nope, wrong one. Um, I guess it's not in there. Our route page is accurate, mover 69. We already know the route. Legs page, check. We know that's an RNAV, so we'll go flight director on my side. Nope. Flight director on my side, auto throttle on. Okay, I guess it's because there's, I don't know, that's not realistic. It should automatically do that. All right, gross weight, we told it. Uh, reserves, we're gonna go 7.2 because we've got an alternate to Gulfport. Cruise altitude, 320. Menu, A cars, we get the ATIS. 
at DFW, and I think it pulls what's actually going on right now. While we do that, let's get our clearance. Oh, I gotta file a flight plan. All right, we got the uh, ATIS here, 2996, so we will set that. Uh, set that right there. Sixteen ten, and what cleanup altitude is is uh, basically a thousand feet above the terrain, straight ahead, and that gives you the uh, uh, clear of obstacles. I think it's fourteen point two miles. Some sim instructor is probably going to be mad at me now because I don't remember thirteen point two miles. Oh, this is frustrating. So that gives you a straight ahead climb out and we will set one seventy six. All right, so we got two nine nine that moves them back over there. Now they can take ground power because we've got it on the APU. Because that will end up messing up everything in the back if we don't. All right, so back to this. Uh, this should have had a chance to load. We are a flaps one takeoff. Well, I guess it's just one. Weird. That rough root takeoff page. Okay, well let's get the CG. That should be on here, right? CG was 26.2. And again, a lot of this stuff will just auto-populate. 4.63 units, so... We'll trim that to the right. Right, uh, thing and what we say the winds were winds were 210 at 5 so we're gonna usually this stuff would auto load but we're gonna use the QRH speeds so we'll go 210 at 5 uh, temperature is 21 Giving us oh, because the N1's not right. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do a 34 degree assumed temp with a 22k standard power takeoff, which will give us 92.3 aside. That's good. 49, 50, 51, 54. Sorry, and that's what we'll set up here. And again, we'd have a TPS. I don't know how to get a TPS in this game. I'm sure there's a way, but. Uh, anyway, half the stuff is, is getting there. And then setting up for 1.7 right, I'll put uh, 1.11, actually I'd put 1.7 center. Call clearance, maybe clearance will give me something, I don't know, why is this? There you go, request clearance. 737 to 800, Romeo, 6, 9. Yep. Armstrong Orleans International has filed, maintain, flight level, 3, 2, 0, squall, 4, 7, 0, 0. All right, 4, 7, 4700, and then we'll go T-A-R-A, -A, and then since it's my leg, we'll go number 2. Here, Diane, Armstrong New Orleans International has filed, maintain, flight level, 3, 2, 0, squall, 4, 7, 0, 0. 737 to 800. And that's all we need for that. It's a really good cockpit. We don't have ADFs. Uh, that's where we put our ATIS and stuff when we print it out. So we would have PDC'd the clearance. You usually don't call them unless you need to. But um, yeah, let's, let's see what the status is of people getting on board. Uh, 
Let's have old Captain say hello. We got a final item? What's broken? It's already pre-programmed to blame maintenance. That's funny. All right. Ground service. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Ground services. Let's, uh, let's plan our pushback here. Pre-plan. So we know where we're taking off, so we're going to go... Out of the way. Oh, 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 delete. Ground cockpit plan acknowledged. That's Call pretty cool. Menu when you are ready. So that's better pushback. That's a couple. Like I said, I'll put them in the description here. So uh, I guess you got to be on the captain side to make this work. I don't know. All right. So what else do we need? Um, I guess uh, 10 prior, we can go ahead and run a checklist. And at this point, you know, the captain's here to run the checklist. So uh, it'd be parking brake, which is set. Oxygen, if you didn't check it, you check it. I don't want to really do all that, but oxygen, I mean, it's got enough right there. So that's cool. And uh, navigation transfer to sway switches are normal and auto. Window heat, I turned on. Uh, pressurization, or an auto. And we are set 320 going to 50 feet down in New Orleans. Uh, terrain display selected on both sides. Uh, MCP, so we're taking off runway 17 right, 176, 154, 176. Uh, the top of the SID is uh, 10,000, so we'll set that. Ten thousand set, so MCP is set, and this is challenge and response. So I'll say MCP, he'll say set, I'll say set. Uh, displays, we're looking for. Uh, let's see, we armed armed L nav sixteen ten two nine nine six. We need speeds. Why do we not have speeds? Uh, we should have four green and two red. We've got the two red. What am I missing? Why am I not seeing it? I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Um, hmm. Okay. So I would check that. Maybe there's something in it ref. Root. One seven right. Next page. That all looks good. Four point six three ninety two three assign flaps one. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's just it doesn't show up on this model. I don't know, uh, but we figure it out and go check. Standby flight instruments. We got two nine nine six. It's checked. Uh, auto brake RTO. Engine start levers are cut off. Uh, fuel quantity distribution. We got eighteen four. I believe the release was twelve something. So uh, checked. Uh, transponder or TARA aileron rotor tremor zero zero departure briefing. This is where we talk about the threats. So the threat is I'm a single pilot doing this and I don't know much about X-Plane, and it's the first time really flying a whole flight with this. Um, weather's good here, kind of crappy in New Orleans. Uh, if we have to bring it back around, uh, so first of all, we'll board, the captain will usually talk to this, uh, 80 knots, anything above 80 knots, fire failure, fear, or shear. So engine fire, engine failure, uh, fear that you can't get airborne for some reason, and then wind shear. Uh, and then uh, that's above 80 knots, below 80 knots, we'll take it back for, uh, we'll board for anything. Uh, let's see, so we'll call that complete. Fasten belts, we'll call that on. I don't know what that's supposed to be, auto. Oh, that's the chime. APU is on, and we are on buses. We already did that. Oh, no. Fuel panel. And for us, that would get us to the line, and now we're just waiting for the closeout. Um, how do you know if they're boarded? Can you look? Oh, check that out. They are all boarded. All right, close the door. 
Let's go. We don't know. We got 169 souls on board. Okay, because yeah, you can look up here and see if the doors are open. Which they're not. Everything's closed. Boarding is complete. Awesome. All right, so now we get to the JPs, just priors. So I'll do mine. El Capitan's already got his fuel panel set. And we're in steady. Any collision lights on. We turn the wheel wheel off because we already did our walk around. So I go probe heat on, hydraulic panel set, doors, windows, closed and locked, and then make sure this one's closed too. Any collision lights on. And then let's call for push, which I would call the people. I don't think the game's got the ramp frequency. If it does, sorry, I'm not doing that. Uh, but let's go ahead and ground services, better pushback, and request pushback. Ground the cockpit, totally striking up. Nice, and it works. So this takes a minute, but you know, this obviously, you know, I'm not really much of a gamer, but this is awesome. It reminds me back when I was a kid, I used to nerd out doing virtual airlines and Microsoft Flight Sim. If I had this, I mean, this is awesome. And even going to 737 school, this would have helped. I mean, when I go to the 76, I might see if I can figure out how to do this, you know, prior, because it shows you where everything is. Anyway, got my trusty stick there. Get all that going. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Nice, do it. Connect. What are you waiting for? Go with your data. Do I have to tell her to connect? All right, she said she's- So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. All right, parking brake is released. And obviously the captain would be doing all this stuff. Starting pushback and you may start engines. All right, so when she says you may start engines, that's actually a trigger is the FO. So I reach up here and go packs off, which this is my biggest complaint with this stupid airplane, the 737. This is outdated. In 2020, having to do packs and bleeds and all that crap when Airbus, they just press a button, it's kind of a pain. So I go packs off, four starting engines checklist is complete. And he says, go ahead and start two. So we start two. And now we're waiting here in two to get about to 25%. And this is all the FO's job on this side. We'll put the legs page up on the captain's side because it's going to be me flying. All right, there's 25%. All right, 25%. And now I look up, make sure the lights go out. They do. And now we're watching for a good start on the number two as we're pushing back, which is really cool. I mean, it's amazing what mods and stuff they have here. All right, the tick goes away. Uh, should be 2466, which we got roughly. It's coming back down. So once that one's done, uh, Close the isolation valve, go to auto so the people in the back can have some air. And El Capitan, used to we have to had to wait till the tug was disconnected, but now we start both at the same time mostly, depending on who you fly with. And there you go, ground start on two. Operation complete, go ahead and set the parking brake. All right, Captain's gonna set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Good for you. All right. There's 25. Oops. Uh, I missed it. The light's already out. Yeah. That's okay. In real life, it's much faster to just look. Disconnect and hand signals. So we get a pin in the salute. There's 2466. That's good. All right. Bleeds off. Auto, auto, one, two, three. That's all good. We've got auto all the way around. Makes a smiley face and a frowny face. Tow is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have fun up there. Oh, does she, does she do the hand signal? I don't know. Okay. 
All right, after start, uh, any ice, we're not worried about the generators. We do this, and then we turn off the APU. Uh, we get a, you know what? I forgot the yacht amber. There you go, see? That's why we look. Oh boy. Oh boy, all right, recall, six. Check his side too. Six, he'll go clear for flaps. We're on a flaps one takeoff. Oh, flaps one. Watch that, he's gonna check the bottom. So one, two. And I will check left, right, back, forward. Flight control is free and correct. After start checklist is complete. And then we go to the before takeoff, but there's actually, the mechanical checklist is what we use in the airplane that doesn't exist here, uh, which, okay. Just FYI. And this looks realistic too, all the people. Quest taxi. 737 to 800, Romeo, six, nine, runway, one, seven, right, taxi by Echo, Juliet, Kilo, Echo, Foxtrot, hold short of runway, one, seven, right. We got taxi instructions. We're gonna look right, make sure we're good. I'm gonna taxi this. There is no tiller on the FO side at my airline, but, um, I'm gonna do it from this side anyway because I don't feel like switching back and forth, so. Here we go. Oh God, what's this food truck doing? This is exactly like DFW. They just willy-nilly go wherever they want. Jesus, move, where are you going? Usually at Dallas, the way it works is uh, you get to a spot and then they'll go spot whatever and it'll be, you know, mover 6-9 uh, with Juliet and then they'll give you your taxi instructions. So I guess here it doesn't work. Okay, so uh, first thing, we get the closeout. We don't really have a closeout per se, just because I guess the sim doesn't do that. But it would be fuel imbalance. We'd get a uh, closeout weight, 36.6, plan versus assumed. Uh, we'll make sure we're at least light. We'll just say we are. We're a 22K, 34 degree assumed temp. And that's just made up. I didn't really have a reason for that. Uh, which gives us 91.3 aside, and uh, we're checked for runway 17 right. So I'd say take off that and bugs checked. We'd go down to the uh, checklist down there and do that. Flaps, we're looking for one. Oh God, I'm sucking at taxiing and doing this. Flaps look for one green light. I see one and green light. Uh, stab trim, 4.62 units. We've got 4.62 set. Takeoff brief, we already did. HUD, uh, the captain would set. We're not worried about that because we're not doing it on this side. Uh, generators on buses, air conditioning bleeds. We got auto, auto, and set. And the reason that's a factor is because guys have, oh, trim air will help. Oh, whoa, oh, I'm not good. I've been reported already as a drunk uh, captain here. All right, let's talk to the people. At this point, flight attendants, uh, let's see. Do I, do I tell them prepare? I guess it doesn't. That's not a thing on here. Okay, cool. Let me go to tower till I get there. Okay, cool. All 
All right, once we get air conditioning bleeds, that would put us to the line. And now we wait for approaching number one, which we got full length. Usually Dallas, we end up on the other one, but uh, at one of the intersection, but that's okay. What is the noise? Oh, the inner marker. Seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred. Romeo six nine. Contact tower on one yep. two six point five five. Contact tower on one two six point five five. Seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred. I make six, this nine. There we go. Hey, this is pretty cool because I usually use this little nubbin to fix my seat. Tower seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred. Romeo six nine. 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9, fly heading 1, 8, 0, runway 1, 7, right, you're clear for takeoff. All right, so we're on a heading, so now we're not on LNAV anymore. Uh, we'll read back that. Fly heading 1, 8, 0, runway 1, 7, right, 737 to 800. All right, MCP ND is checked, one way, runway 1, 7, right, that looks good. 167, 176, 180. Have a good flight. Thanks, you too. Uh, lights are set. PA, I'll do the. Uh, I guess that's close enough. All right, now I actually finally fly. Holy crap. Here we go, and so we go to 40, get it to stabilize. It does, toga, captain's throttles. I'm the captain today, look at me, I'm the captain. Checks. so I can put the flaps up. Usually I fly more, but being a single pilot is what it is. All right, so we're on a heading. We can talk to the people. Contact center on one, three, five, point seven, five, seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred, six, nine. Oh my God, shut up. Check in. Seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred, six, nine. 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9, Dallas Fort Worth International, altimeter 2, 9, 9, 6. Dallas Fort Worth International, altimeter 2, 9, 9, 6, 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9. All right, clean machine. 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9, fly heading 0, 8, 0. Oh, other zero right there. 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9, Dallas Fort Worth International, altimeter 2, 9, 9, 6. All right. This dude's uh, read back. Dallas Fort Worth International. What is the master altimeter caution for? 9, 9, 6, 737 to 800, Romeo 6, 9. Ah, center pumps. Usually 
usually they would r -nav you. I don't know why they're doing that, but look at the graphics. This is awesome. Really cool. All right, descent. There's no cruise page. Oh, there's a descent page. Weird. Okay. All right, after takeoff, uh, pilot monitor and go flaps up, no lights. We got that. Gears up and off. Auto brake is off. Uh, air conditioning bleeds checked and we're pressurizing. And then the anti-ice and APU as required, which we don't have. So here we go. Pretty cool. We got airborne and we didn't crash. That's part of it. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! About a lot of that. Usually fly with the doors off. Don't be a douche. Rule number one. Make them tell you now.